Yoon suk yeol has been sworn in as South Korea's new president, marking the start of a tough battle to avert a recession, win over the cooperation of an opposition-controlled National Assembly, and deal with the DPRK, which continues to test new missiles and is expected to soon test another nuclear bomb. Yoon technically kicked off his five-year term at midnight in the underground bunker of the new presidential office building in what is currently the Defense Ministry, where he received a briefing from South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. The former prosecutor general has no political experience, has been embroiled in a series of scandals involving family members, and is even reviled by some in his own party for his role in the investigation, impeachment and imprisonment of his party's former leader, ousted President Park Geun-hye. Yoon won by the narrowest margin ever in a country increasingly divided along party lines. I hope the new administration doesn't forget that they only won by a very small margin. I hope they don't get the impression that they won with the full support of all the people. When it comes to foreign policy, another area Yoon has no experience in, his biggest challenge will be relations with the DPRK which he sees as an adversary rather than a negotiating partner. Yoon has pledged to strengthen security ties further with the U.S. and Japan and deploy more of the controversial THAAD anti-missile systems. However, his biggest immediate challenge may be local elections in June, which will be the first serious test of Yoon's leadership, when it will be seen whether voters begin to rally around the new government or attempt to limit the new president's powers even further. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.